Hi everyone, it's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I sell all of the fabulous Stampin' Up! products that I share with you. Today is January 2nd, 2020. Can you believe it? Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I am so happy that you are here with me today. Um, Today is an exciting day as we are just hours away from the new celebration and mini catalog launch that goes live tomorrow. So this is the most exciting um, time of the year for us Stampin' Up! demonstrators. This is our biggest sale and I absolutely love Celebration. Who doesn't like getting free product when you shop? I know I sure do. So welcome to my um, Facebook page. If you are watching live, um, thank you so much for taking a few moments of your time to share with me today. Um, if you are watching the replay, thank you so much. Um, I do appreciate you coming on by and if you're watching on YouTube, it is definitely the replay um, as I am live on my Facebook page. So um, if you're watching on the uh, replay on YouTube, please click the subscribe button below um, or give me a thumbs up comment. I absolutely um, love to hear what you have to say. I love interacting with you. Hi, Jessica, how are you? So please say hi when you pop by. Let me know where you're coming from. So, um, hey, Stephanie, how are you? So tomorrow, celebration and handmade for you, the January to June mini catalog. If you live in Canada and do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you currently work with, I would love the opportunity to earn your business and I would happily send you a copy of each of these fabulous publications. I just need you to private message me or email me your uh, mailing address. So along with the um, celebration um, happenings, uh, they have the Stampin' Up! offers a fabulous starter kit to become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator to give it a try for three months. So this is one of the offerings that you get to choose. So I have been using this paper trimmer and Oh my goodness, I wish I could have ordered more. I love this tiny little mini paper trimmer. It is really small, easy to take with you for um, any crafting events you're doing. I like to go away a couple times a year to scrapbooking um, events. So I always bring a little trimmer as well as my big trimmer, but this thing here, when I'm cutting my labels and that for cards, has been a fabulous little tool to have on my desk. Um, we, as demonstrators, up until tonight, can pre-order this. Only one each, though, and it comes with the um, paper designer series paper sampler. So it's got some of the samples of all of the diff, not all, sorry, the different designer series papers that are being offered. So we've got some celebration, the um, the Lily paper here, but we don't have any of the specialty paper in, um, included in this, and it's just a few sheets. So just to give you a taste, as I like to say. Hi, Anne Marie, how are you? So starting tomorrow, you can join my Sassy Stampers family and add this to your starter kit. For $135 Canadian, you're going to get to choose $165 worth of products. You're going to get this as a um, bonus as well. You get to pick an extra stamp set on top of that, any stamp set that you want. And anybody that has approached me about signing up, I always tell them, Go through the annual catalog and go through the um, occasions or the mini catalog and choose the most expensive stamp set in there because Stampin' Up! is gifting it to you. 
So you might as well get the most out of it. So I would choose something. I can't open my mini catalog, but I can certainly open my annual catalog. And in the back here, we have a stamp index. So um, in the back of the stamp index, so we've got like colorful seasons is $34. That is a type of stamp set that if you like that, that is what I would suggest you choose as your free stamp set because you're getting it for free from Stampin' Up! as a thank you gift for um, signing up to be a demonstrator. So go through your catalogs and take a look and make your wish list and then choose whichever stamp set you want as your free item um, make sure it is a pricey one if that's what you like. So, um, today also was the creating or is the creating kindness, uh, design team blog hop. I did not get a video posted for that, um, this time around, but this, and I didn't get my card posted yet. This is on my blog. Happy New Year to you and your family as well, Mar Anne Marie. So this was the card that I created for our um, Creating Kindness design team blog hop. So the theme was outer space. So I paired, these are stamp sets from the new mini catalog, the Morning Star. Now this stamp set coordinates which, with the stitched stars from the uh, holiday catalog they are carrying over um so you can see the little cluster of stars here and the single star so i used those here and then the moon here from the mountain air this is a brand new bundle that um is coming in the hopefully there's not too much glare coming in the um, mini catalog. So I used the moon and then this die cut here is, I actually, I have a catalog open house on Saturday afternoon. So I have prepared these for um, my um, lovely ladies that come. So I have prepared a, for every single bundle I have purchased so far, I have created um, a display for them. So this one here is the one that I used at the bottom of the card. As you can see, it's just an edgelet. So you can make this as wide or as narrow as you want. So let me just, they're all a mess in here. So as you can see, it just, um, you can make, it goes with this tree line stamp right here. So um, it is going to go all over it like that. Obviously that's not the stamp. Let's see. Don't be lazy, Marcy. Open it up and show the lovely people. All right. So I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but so this goes over, do I have this on correctly? This is one of the new reversibles. So um, the one side is completely smooth. So it would be your um, fill in background color. And then the other side, I don't know if you can see that, has got the detail on it. So, um, and they're thicker than the normal um, photopolymer. So you're going to um, use this to die cut out that. And you can make it, like I said, as thick or as um, thin as you want. And for my card, I just wanted a very thin um, little bit of um, the tree line showing. So because I wanted my focal to focus to completely be on my night sky. And this is embossed. Um, so all of the details are on my blog right now for this card to sh show you, tell you how I created it. And uh, hopefully I'll get some time to do a video showcasing something like this. 
I've been very busy. I'm moving my classroom to the basement. So I have been busy, busy, busy the past uh, week and a half painting and doing other things. So um, it's been a little busy. So yes, yeah, so tomorrow, or sorry, tomorrow is Friday. I don't even know what day it is. Is anybody else like that? Um, these holidays have completely like messed with my internal clock. I don't know what day it is. I think it's a Sunday and it's a Wednesday. Um, it's just been a little odd. So anyways, uh, Saturday from one till three, if you're local, uh, 519 Riverview Drive, I will have, um, the, um, samples i'll have sign up sheets uh, door prizes uh, treats and beverages um, so that is this saturday then tuesday i have my stamp chat and snack tuesday the 7th then the 14th is my stamp a stack and then saturday january 25th is my creative escape it's my all-day crafting event that i hold at my church in the parish center and uh, my cutoff number is 35 for me to um, comfortably seat everybody and be able to make sure that I am able to pay attention to everybody and give them all of the uh, required um, attention that they might need. So 35 is my number and I'm at 30 people right now. So I've got five spots left. And the sign up deadline is coming. It's Monday. So um, $60. That gets you nine till nine. Everybody gets a um, thank you gift. There's door prizes. Um, I feed you lunch, dinner, snacks, beverages. Um, it is a great day. We always have a lot of fun. And I uh, feed you very well. So um, let me know if you are interested. Um, everything is up on my business, my demonstrator business website. So also coming up quickly is my paper share. Again, I'm offering my paper share. So um, you get a quarter pack of all of the designer series paper that is in the, um, I keep wanting to say holiday catalog. <laughs> My goodness, um, you're gonna get some a quarter pack of all of the designer series paper from the mini catalog. So that's 84 sheets of six by six. So this is this paper here is six by six, which is a, a nice size to uh, do cards and stuff or add to scrapbook pages. Um, just not you know the full on if it's a 12 by 12 page you not going to get that out of that six by six but it'll give you a taste of all of the um, different papers so that you can see which one you really do like and maybe want more of so the cost is 38 dollars for local porch pickup or you have to add on 13 dollars for priority post and it will be mailed directly to you and also, as a thank you for taking part in my paper share, you're going to get a quarter package of the fabulous B, um, what is it? Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series Paper. So this is a celebration item. So it is a gorgeous pack of black, white, and gold um, patterned uh, paper that goes with the Honey Bee um, bundle that's in the catalog so that's a celebration item but I'm as a thank you for taking part of my share um, everybody that takes part is going to get a quarter package of that as a thank you free of charge um, so there's four people per share so uh, my first share is filling up so uh, let me know if you are interested in that so let's get to crafting we are going to be creating one of these from the kerchief card kit this is a celebration item as well this fabulous kit makes eight cards and i got um my um chamois all i got it wet rinsed it out and i have everything organized and i opened up i have two of those 
So I opened up my card kit and um, this is what you get in it. So it's got your instructions as always. So you're making four of this card and four of this card. And I was like, oh my gosh. So look at how pretty this is. So this is a uh, Calypso Coral and this is Coastal Cabana. And then the inside is just white, so it's easy for writing on. And it has your pretty um, lined envelopes. It comes with your uh, some twine, dimensionals, glue dots, vellum, and some gold printed vellum your uh, printed die cut, laser cut um, leaves, your flowers and your ovals for layering. And then we've got, the camera is gonna go crazy with this. We've got your gold leaf and flower um, laser cut embellishments as well. And then look at this, I was like, oh my gosh, look at that guys. I don't have to do any stamping. So we've got um, German and French, is that? I'm not sure. Um, so we've got Thinking of You and Celebrate Today. So we've got two of each per sheet. So then we've got these other, um, these other extras. So, Anne-Marie, you are French speaking. If you would like me to pop these out and pop them in the mail to you, French is the first one. So this top one here is French. If you would like me to send the French ones to you, I can pop these out and pop them in the mail and then you can add them to any cards you would like. Um, because thinking of you and celebrate today is a fabulous sentiment that could be added to anything. So I would happily do that for you, Anne-Marie. Just let me know. So there is no stamping on this, guys. How awesome is that? So let's make one of each. I have a brand new glue uh, because I went through my glue with die cutting all of my... Oh, Anne-Marie, you are so very welcome. Um, so I have my instructions here. So let's, I'm not going to use them. So I would much rather send it to a friend that I know speaks the language and would use it. So I'm going to grab my bone folder here. It's behind my iPad for me to look at comments. So there it is. Okay. So this morning, I'll have to post on my um, social media sites. This morning I went into, my sister and I went to Costco to get, um, I went for two chairs um, for my uh, classroom because I'm not down upstairs anymore, I'm downstairs. So I needed two more folding chairs for my tables so that I can comfortably seat 12 people. I only had 10 chairs, so I went in for two chairs and I came out. <laughs> I sent a picture to Brad and said, yeah, I came for two chairs. I came out with a overflowing basket. It was quite funny. Um, doesn't that always happen when you go to Costco though? That you just go in for a couple things and you end up with much, much more than what you uh, initially planned. So I'm thinking that they've probably just put some glue dots. I can see this uh, card kit, this kerchief card kit being very, very popular. So I think they probably just put some glue dots, but I love my liquid glue. Can't start a new year without new glue. That's true. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little in the middle because my label is gonna cover that. 
and we had easy supper tonight thanks to Costco as well. I picked up one of their chicken pot pies and then when I got home um, and was putting things away, I asked Connor if he wanted me to grill chicken tonight or if he wanted um, chicken pot pie from Costco and his um, vote was chicken pot pie. So that was easy peasy. I like easy peasy. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna put a couple per, hi Kit, how are you? A couple um, of these, let's see, two, what is two is the, yeah, it just shows here in the picture. It's really glary, I do apologize if I move that up. So, looks like one, two, three, four per card. So it looks like we're gonna be putting them like this. So what did everybody do for New Year's Eve? We went out for dinner with my sister. We went for the early dinner time here in town. Brad and I went with my sister Ann and her husband Willie. And um, the seating time was five o'clock or 7.30. So we went for the five o'clock. So we were home by quarter after seven. And um, that picture that I posted, shh, don't tell anybody, I was in my pajamas. <laughs> I was in my pajamas at 7.20 on New Year's Eve. And then Brad and I snuggled up with Maisie on the couch and we watched um, some Netflix. We finished up watching um, The Witcher. So, did you guys, any of you guys go out? We've never been much for going out. Now, this is very curly. But like I've shown you before, if you take your hand and just run it across up and down a few times it's going to um the heat is going to help and the pressure it's going to help straighten that out a bit see that's not anywhere near as curly as it was yeah so after costco i went to ikea and i got some new shelves some hanging shelves for my uh stamp studio down here although i forgot to call our fireplace we have a gas fireplace down here and uh, brad can't get the pilot light to start he turns it off every um once spring hits and we're not going to be using it anymore um, and we can't get it to start back up so I have to call a fireplace company. We haven't um, had it serviced since we put it in, which is kind of shocking. So I think it's probably time. All right, so I am thinking that we probably, looking at this has popped up, so I think I'm going to glue these down with just a dab of glue and then put my bow, make these loops a little bigger, put my bow down here and then pop, this will have to be lower, pop that up with my dimensionals. So, You went to your daughter's house, did you, Anne Marie? My um, Danielle went to our daughter Danielle, who's living back at home. She went to our son Damon and his wife Allie's apartment in London on New Year's Eve. They were having friends over and game night. So Danielle and her friend Mare went to um into that and then connor went into um or went to a friend's uh the couple that they were having a house party so
so yes um brad and i went from empty nesters for a few months this summer we were empty nesters from august to october that we didn't have because my lola had passed away in june um, and Danielle was living in Toronto, so we had, uh, it was just Connor at home until he moved out in August, so it was just Brad, Connor, and I, and then Connor moved out, and then it was just Brad and I, uh, the end of August, September, and half of October, and then Danielle came back home. Um, which actually made us very happy. I didn't like her living in Toronto, truth be told. So she came home with her two fur babies. So we went um, from just the two of us to three of us and two fur babies. And then we got Maisie the beginning of December. And then Connor um, moved back home. So we are now back to four people and um, three fur babies. So it's funny how things go like that. But we tell our kids, you live here as long as you want save up way more money living at home with mom and dad, not having to pay rent or anything. So, yes. All right, so now we're just going to, I'm about to empty out another sheet of dimensionals. See how this works out. I don't know if I've clumped it all together too much or not. So we're just, oh, yeah, because of that there, I think I've got that a little too high. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Okay, let's move you, and I can't get that glue dot, so we're just going to add another one. All right. I want some of that to hang out. Whoop, we're not dry. I don't want to catch the edge of that. There we go. This is a little curled up. So card number one. Look at how easy that was. Pretty. Very, very pretty. I like this kit. Okay, so let's do number two. Now you don't have to, if you got this, you wouldn't have to use these sentiment labels. You could, um, There's these bases are so pretty. You could do um, any kind of sentiment you're, that you've got. Um, this would be very pretty for a happy birthday um, as well or whatever. You could choose many, many, whatever sentiments you have in your stamp and stash. All right, so let's pop this and this out. And on, oh, one of these goes 
here with that. And then let's move this to the side. So I cannot wait to be able to go through the catalog with you guys and show you what everything looks like page by page showing you the different not having to worry about um, getting in trouble for opening my catalog to show you where the products that I'm working with are. All right, I think we're just gonna do the one. So, and with this, I'm gonna put dots of glue behind here, just tiny little behind the gold dots because that gold foiling is going to cover my glue. Now I did forget to mention, if you are coming to my um, cat, new mini catalog kickoff on Saturday afternoon, um, please refrain from heavy perfumes. Uh, same as my Creative Escape, I have a couple lovely ladies that are extremely scent sensitive. So I want to make sure that they do not have any um, breathing issues or anything like that. So uh, just be mindful and um, avoid heavy perfumes, please and thank you. Uh, my regular ladies know that, but if there is anybody new, we love welcoming new people into our um, group of uh, lovely stamping ladies. We don't have any gentlemen yet, but if you like to craft, you are more than welcome to come and check out what, uh, what we have to offer, what we're all about. I think this year I am going to have Brad talk to his co-workers and maybe see if we can't get them together to make Valentine's Day cards for their loved ones. What's a heavy perfume? Well, any, any perfumes really that you're putting on, um, you know how some people, when you're shopping and they walk by you and you can really smell their cologne, um, that is what I'm talking about. So, and there's, um, I even put my hand soap away. Um, I have unscented wipes in the bathroom so that they, um, for washing their hands. I have candles in my house that um, I don't, they're not lit, but they're just there for decoration. And they, um, I put them away too when the, I know my ladies are coming over. But now that I'm in the basement, those candles are upstairs, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, what I'm going to do on this one here is I'm going to use my um, snail adhesive and I'm going to put um, my different elements here. I'm going to attach them with my snail instead of the glue so that way I can figure out my placement of them a little bit better. So I'm going to build this right here on my silicone craft sheet. I love my silicone craft sheet. I tell you gals that every time because I, I seriously, I use it every single day. I'm just going by what I see. I'm just guesstimating. Oh, that's a little too high because that guy's not going to. All right. And I'm talking to myself. All right. So, so I'm thinking that I'm going to be moving my Facebook Lives. They, I've always done them on 
Thursdays at 1. Uh, because in the summertime, Brad and I head to the cottage weekends um, at on Thursday nights. So, but we don't go to the cottage as much in the winter because of the snow squalls and all that. They close Highway 21 down quite frequently because of the blowing snow. So we don't get up there as often. And I'm finding that I get more viewers at 6 p.m. in the evening when I've done it a couple times. So I am going to uh, move my Facebook Lives till 6 o'clock instead. However, that being said, um, next Thursday, my sister, my younger sister, Carol, who lives up in the Kingston area, um, is going to be coming down next Thursday and um, I want to we're going to go and do some sister stuff um, she's not going to be arriving till the afternoon so I want to be able to spend time with her go out to dinner I'm not sure what all we're going to do but I want to leave it open. So next week, I'm going to do my Facebook Live on Wednesday night at 6. Just to um, be able to. I So I've put two dimensionals there. Oh, no, no, no. Not a worry at all, Anne-Marie. Don't apologize. You don't smell your perfume and you know people smell it. Yes, you're... You know that, I don't know what commercial it is where they say you go nose blind, where it's some kind of spray for your furniture. Well, some people when they, um, when you use perfume all the time, you maybe don't notice your perfume scent. So, okay, I'm going to pop this up too. Um, so I just say, you know, refrain from. If you can, please and thank you. So, um, you know, the body sprays and stuff like that, they can be, they can be quite overpowering. So by just, if you know you're coming, um, just don't put some, any spray on. Easy peasy. Pull this off. And we're going to tuck that like that. And then pull these two off. Any alcohol based is heavy. Um, Tammy is saying, yeah, so, I mean, we're in a society now where there are a lot of allergies, so if you just avoid, it's not going to hurt you to, for one, oh, I was supposed to move this over a little bit further, I think, but that's okay. Um, if you just avoid something that's going to cause somebody problems, if you know ahead of time. It's just the nice thing to do. So, other than fiddling with my um, placement, how quick and easy was that? So pretty, so easy. This would be a fabulous gift to give somebody. Um, so this is this kit. You can earn for free with a $60 purchase. So that is before shipping and tax is applied. So um, tomorrow, if you're putting in an order, think about this as one of your free celebration items. You're going to get eight, eight cards 
plus their envelopes in that one kit that are quick and easy to make up. I mean, wow, I really like that. And I'm glad I've got a second packet as well. So yes, Anne-Marie, I will pop these, um, pop these French sentiments out for you. Um, and then if I have any German speaking um, friends watching, I can, I can absolutely, um, or if that's Dutch, I'm not sure, um, I can uh, pop those in the mail to you. So just let me know if you are interested in them. I would happily send them to you because I know I will not be using them. So um, yeah, I would happily pop these in the mail. Um, Anne Marie is getting the French, so if you would like this other, these other ones, um, just uh, send me a message, and I would happily send them to you. Not a problem whatsoever. So that is all for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly do appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my, um, um, like my Facebook page. Um, give me some thumbs up, some hearts. Uh, Facebook loves it when you do that. It helps to um, boost my um, rankings and uh, share my video with anybody you think that might be interested in my crafting. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love that. And if there's anything you would like to order you and you live in Canada and you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you currently work with, I would love the opportunity to earn your business. I am actually getting very close to a career milestone. So I'm uh, doing a little bit of a countdown. Um, Stampin' Up! recognizes every hundred thousand dollars in sales um so with stampin up it's considered csv is what it's called because we're a global company so i am very close i am six thousand csv away from hitting my hundred thousand career to date sales um, in my just over six years of becoming a demonstrator so um, every little bit helps to uh, get me there um, and then I will be recognized by Stampin' Up! for reaching that milestone so that's a pretty big deal to me so um, if you're needing anything and would like to place an order with me I would absolutely love that so thank you so much for stopping by um, I will see you next Wednesday night at uh, 6 o'clock unless I decide in the meantime if I pop on unannounced to uh, do some more live crafting once these uh, catalogs go live tomorrow. Bye for now.